you guys. I forgot that Tuesday, 10 to 12 sets at Upper Room have become Spanish things now. Hi! How are you? <laughs> hey, I'm fine. Yourself? I'm good. I mean, you can hold the phone a little bit further away from me. That should also be fine. Yeah. Um, okay, can you say something? Hello. Oh, okay. Well, this is the other people. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me on Five Questions today. Uh, guys, this is my mom. Do you want to introduce yourself, mommy? My name is Mpo Mkadokos, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have five questions to ask you. Oh, and then bring that. Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't want to be a mother today. It's fine. <laughs> May I tell that one? <laughs> Are you done? You're not interviewing anymore. But you have to listen to it. So she, okay. So, mom, um, question number one. I'd like to find out from you. When God introduced himself to you, what attributes did he introduce himself to you as? Sure. Forgiving. Forgiving. Wow. That's beautiful. Mm. Is that all you want to say? Well, I have a lot to say, really. Okay, but Forgiving. you don't have a lot of time. I mean, you can say a sentence or two. Yeah, you know, because I carried so many burdens. I was yeah. so heavy laden with, you know. So he was a forgiving, loving father, you know, really. Yeah. That's all I want to say. Yeah. Oh, that is yeah. That's so cool. Okay, question number two. Can you share a a big testimony with us? Well, just can you share a recent testimony with us in terms of your work? Recently. Yeah, she is short and um, sweet. I like it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the biggest moment for me now the biggest thing that god has done is that you know soon we are going to introduce save one which is care for people that has been bruised by abortion you know okay and just how he supplied you know he gave us the furniture we needed i don't know that we could have put up an office like that if he hadn't intervened yeah so it was it's a long testimony but that is the summary of it Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Is the third one have a handle that people can follow so long? Not save one South and Africa as yet. Not yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. when we get it, then we'll just post it in the, in the comments or in the link to this video. Then people can okay. think so. Well, wow, that's okay. That's cool. And then can you also, question number three, can you share a recent conviction with us? There's something that Holy Spirit's been convicting you about. Yeah, um, the word of God. Yeah, the word of God is really. I mean, the times that we are living in, if you're not in, you're not holding on to the word of God. Not what He is saying to you now. Not you know the promises that He gave to you long ago. Yeah, that you can hold on to that promise. I'm talking about not something that you run to now to find out. Let me see what is God's word saying about this. But what he okay. said, you know, like, yes, what he said to me yesterday, last year, or the day I was born again, you know? Yeah. For me, for instance, is hold on to that girl. Go back to that point of promise, my girl, and hold yeah. on to it because I will never lie. I will never, ever lie to you. What yeah. I have promised I will make sure that it happens. I wash that my words yeah. to perform it. So that really is my conviction that, yo, the word oh, of God, wow. Lord, thank you. Mm. Sure. Yeah. I think, what, yeah, I mean, what, what's amazing also, you know, is every time people talk about just the word of God or promises that God has given, I always just go back to this thing of, um, you know, like it must be in you so that Holy Spirit can quicken it or that he can remind you of it. So, mm. yeah, that's, mm. a, that's a really cool one. Um, do you want to ask the last two questions or are you really just going to sit here sulking? No, I'm not sulking. Okay. 
Okay. Why are you crazy, Sophie? She's talking because you called yourself my mother. That's <laughs> giving you an introduction. <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? <laughs> my name is Miko and I am the mother of Yobile, Ngadeko and Dikezo. Three lovely children. Yeah, people will still ask me, oh, you have a brother. Hey, I'm yeah. like, yeah. Okay, question number four. <laughs> okay, Katie's mother, what is your favorite Bible verse? Yo, ask. Ask. and it shall be given and you know what that is the one that is moving the, the it, it, one day is this one day is that and yeah, at the moment hey, yes at the moment mine is ask Matthew 77 ask and it shall be given and it's a, it's a, it's an acronym a s k a okay. for ask s for seek and k for knock so it's ask it shall be given knock and the door will be open oh, and seek and you will find it. oh what i can't believe i never seen it before yeah that's yeah that is so cool yeah. <laughs> sure that's really cool yeah okay you know so what i just keep asking for gratitude yeah Um I'm saying one of the things that I really love is you can actually see when people share a testimony a conviction and a verse you see how like how they link into each other for the seasons that they are in right so I I've, I've been really enjoying that okay last question mom and then you can go about your day uh or night yes last question if you had to meet a random person in the bible so you got to meet a random person it can't be somebody famous like you get to say she wants to meet god She failed. Okay. <laughs> no, but it has to be a random person in the Bible from the Bible. Who would you meet and why? Random, not famous. Is Samson yes. famous? Kind of. So why do you want to meet Samson? I want to meet Samson. He made such a blunder, such an obvious thing. I mean, this woman keeps <laughs> following me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask him a few questions. Sam Shore, did you see that Delilah was actually after your soul, my brother? <laughs> yeah, no Samson. No Samson. I think everybody in the Bible is famous then. But I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's not flawed, but it is interesting like because you know, these people that we talk about more often than we talk about others. And I think it's just interesting to see like, you know, what people would rather want to or who people would me. You know, I think there is actually someone who is not so famous. Okay. And uh, I'm even embarrassed to to say to you I forget her name but oh does she even have a name it's a woman yeah. who built who who built bridges who built a bridge yeah. what is, do you know her name no she she's not given a name she has no name yeah she she's, she's listed as as someone's daughter is she is she famous <laughs> No, she's not famous. That's not a yeah. character that people talk about often. <laughs> I think it's an amazing story of a brave woman, you know, yeah. who achieved so much and yet we know so little about her, you know? Yeah. A, a pioneer, if I can put it that way. I mean, really in those days, look at what she achieved. Yeah. that we can read about her today a small yeah. portion about her but amazing yeah oh cool okay awesome that's the five questions thank you so much mom
Thank well you. Well done. You've conquered it. Enjoy your evening. Sorry? I'm saying Excuse well me? done. You have conquered Instagram live. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I mean, I think this thing is stopping me.